Regis here with Music Marketing TV. Today we are taking a look at automatic captioning inside of Acoustica 7.5.5. It's one of the new features. This is one that I was pretty excited about because typing out captions, especially if it's basically just dialogue, it takes forever. So let's go ahead and bring in, this is an old video project of mine. And what's great is you can take these captions and you can export them to various formats that most video editors can read. So if you wanna import them there, you can. So I'm gonna go ahead, bring it in here, and the beginning is just like intro music. And let's just say, you know, we start somewhere over here. Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV today. So somewhere right around there, let's make sure we get the ending correct. Today we are, so I only want about a sentence, because if you do too much, it isn't gonna sound all that excellent. TV, so right there, that's pretty good. Now, to get to these windows, because I have the caption editor open and you may not have this open, there is a default factory view you could use. So if you go up to view and then go down to factory layouts and then go to caption editing, it'll configure the windows to be the same windows I have here. Uh, so that may be of use to you. So the first way of doing it manually is you can hit C to enter a caption. Uh, we'll go ahead, we'll hit C here. And then, you know, you could type your caption here. And this, this is long, it takes a lot of work. You could have typos, all kinds of stuff. Uh, the much faster way is to just hit the little magic button. It'll magic it, and there you go. Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. And then I can move to the next one. And you do, you go through and you select sort of where you want these to take place. This might be a lot in a single caption. Today we are checking out the PSP Master Comp. And so I might trim this back to like here, and then I will hit, you know, the magic button. And there you go. It even knows now it struggles with master comp. Sometimes uh, it actually gets these more strange phrases, like correct. So it, I think it depends on your selection um, and where your selection starts or ends. Cause sometimes the same sentence, it'll do it right. Sometimes it won't, it's kind of strange. So, and there you go, you go through, you make it, and you can assign different actors. You, you can have different colors, color coordinate things. Uh, now, if you're in another language, if you click on this little like list icon here, you can give it the title, you know, all this uh, information. The important one you wanna look at is make sure your language is the one you're in so that when it does this language recognition, uh, it could do it you know, correctly. So you do need to come through here and uh, vet it a little bit as you go. And if you are gonna do it this way, I do recommend only about a sentence per thing if you intend to use these later to display as um, pop-up subtitles for social media type stuff, if you're gonna generate those sorts of text icons on top or captions, I should say, then you you want uh, you don't want very many words per thing. So you might go through and just select small portions, maybe even up to like three words um, can sometimes work really well. After this, we of course are gonna go to export. So when you export, there are all these different file types. You're gonna need to look up your editor and the type of thing it expects. I think most things are gonna use a .str file. Uh, but you know, you'll go through, you'll export it, and then you can bring it in. And usually in some of them, it's as simple as just drag and drop and you have titles ready to go. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know, subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.